yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Down boys yeah. back again. Yeah, baby. Yep. Yes, yes. We want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in to us once again on this mm-hmm. beautiful, beautiful Saturday. Brutal. Mm-hmm. Is it beautiful or is that? It's Hell brutal. No. It's brutal. It's brutal. Hell no. Nah. Well, we're going to get this show started real quick, man. We got a lot of things going on today. We got special guests. Yeah, but special first person. of all, since no one, no one, no one can answer them damn questions. Oh, Lord. He's upset. Yeah, he I'm sound, upset. He man. sound mad as we're shit. We're trying to give a away for two. And y'all could not answer the questions. Maybe they just didn't want the dinner. <laughs> oh my God! What you trying to say? I'm That's shit. true. That's true. Maybe they. Should've, you should have said somewhere like uh, Roof Chris. Roof Chris. Everybody want go. Ocean Air. One of them. Maybe the spicy chicken give them the runs. Yeah, or uh, they show. But uh, so what, show. so what we did was hold up, hold up, hold up, back up. What, what? Say that name again, gang. Fuck with they show. Yeah, I thought it was Fogo de Chow. No, it's Sean. It, what is it? Somebody help me. It's Sean. Does anybody well, want to make a bet with me right oh, now? What are you gonna bet? Is it maybe? Show. Maybe it's more than one of them. Yeah, you want to bet fifty? Yeah. I know it's a Texas Day Child. All I right. got a Fogo Day Child. One of them might be a Chinese restaurant. Hey, <laughs> ain't even one of them Chinese. Which, whichever one it was, uh, he didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Please believe it. But um, what what we decided was. Since no one could win, we decided to give it to our top poster that's in our group. And mm. this young lady, she posts a lot, she comments a lot. I mean, she's real interactive in our group. And we appreciate that. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. I mean, I post, I see a lot of people don't realize we don't accept every post. Our post got to be some post that you can really talk about, some good conversation. We ain't talking about that, 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 but no. That, we let a little freak shit in there. Yeah, like exactly. Once in a while. Just a little bit. Now, little what bit. are you Just talking about? Let's get this over with, man. Let's <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> show to get out. Kiss my ass, man. Well, look. <laughs> get to the damn point. <laughs> damn it, chill out. But the, la- the young lady we're going to do, that we're going to give the dinner to is Chanel Gordon. Ooh, drop a bar Chanel Gordon. <laughs> So Chanel Gordon, you yeah, got 24 in. hours. What? Huh? See, this show hours. ain't 24 hours. You got 40 minutes <laughs> right. to call in and call get this in shit. Get this dinner now. Get this dinner. Nick said you got 40, 40 minutes, minutes. We need to call you to, in. Look, we need you to not only be posting all that shit in Facebook group, yeah, but we to need be you to active. be active on our show and yeah. be checking us out right now. So I'm if you out there looking I'm at us, I'm going to some time. Call yeah. us, baby. Nick said 45 minutes. That's what you got. Mm-hmm. Pound, give it a, pound, give it a number. To get this dinner. I'm, I'm starting, two, four, I'm starting two, three, three, six, eight, seven, four. It's right there on Say the screen. Again. Call oh, yeah, it there again. You go. Call us, mm-hmm. baby. Call us. So what we got, Ty? What we got, big boy? Well, today we have a special guest in the studio. Uh, I think, let me see, wait a minute. Might be in the wrong spot. Damn. No, we got a special guest, right? Yeah, yeah we got Cedric a special guest. Armstrong. Cedric That's Armstrong. after the commercial, though, but, but first we're going to start off with... Uh, I believe Nick had um, a oh, question boy. at the last show that he wanted to ask everyone. So, shoot it. What you want? Yeah. To um, so, if y'all, y'all <laughs> seen the last show, <laughs> y'all seen the last show, right? Uh, I don't, was I drunk? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Maybe. Well, I don't really remember the question. Okay. No, I'm just, I'm just playing. So, the question was. Management on your ass. The question was. Uh, how do you get into a relationship with somebody that you know has baggage? And is it hard to get into a relationship with somebody that you know got a lot of baggage? Mm, like yep. a lot of baggage could mean a lot of debt, mean a lot of kids. Lot of kids okay. Mean My mother had should... a lot of STDs. Whoa. My <laughs> <legend>. <laughs> a lot of a lot of a lot of uh not dirty pussy. A lot of uh, you know, I mean, but hey, man, if it, if, a, if a pill can cure, you know, and we got a hold. This might be her calling in now, y'all. We got a caller already. Let's chime him in. Lounge boys, you're on the air. Hello, yeah. lounge boys. Who's this? This this Nick or this Ty? Who's Hello, this? you on with the lounge boys? Okay. Ty, no, I was trying. Oh, oh, I'm trying to see how I get some free dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't giving away no free dinners right now, bro. We don't. Last week, yeah. we, get, we just gave the dinner away to somebody for 
for just being part of our group in Facebook. Got my last name Gordon. I said Chanel Gordon. That's my sister. I can pick it up for. Her. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh man, that's yeah, a good one. That yeah, one. she might not get that dinner. <laughs> that's a man, good one. You should, you should have disguised your voice, man. <laughs> you should have disguised your voice. You no, could have got the dinner. Doing, y'all doing some good stuff, man. I'm just shouting y'all out, man. We appreciate, man, appreciate that, man. Appreciate thanks, that, brother. Thanks, man. Hey, hey. hey. tell Chanel no, Gordon to call us. Work, yeah, hey, send Chanel Gordon a message. Tell her, tell her you want to go on that dinner with dinner date with her ass. <laughs> <laughs> You just bought you just bought her five more minutes. <laughs> no joke. Yeah. Hey, 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 Nick. Yeah. Hey, no, what the hell y'all got Nick on TV for? Tell his ass to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey you one thing. Sleep, one, one thing for sure. Two things for certain. Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, right, thanks, hey, thanks, for, thanks for calling in, brother. Love you, boy. Love you, Be easy now. Back to the question, man. Everybody want to go on me. God damn. Pound do started the shit. Yeah, yeah, all right. Back to the question. So, is, is it hard? Like, have you ever been in a relationship with somebody who had a lot of STDs? Hell what the, where, where are we going <laughs> no. with this? Ain't Hell just talking no. about baggage. That's baggage. That's part of the yeah, baggage. That's part of the baggage. Oh, that's what you mean by baggage? No, I mean, that, like, that's part anything of Anything could be baggage. Kids, Kids bills, yeah. a crazy yeah. ass boyfriend, yeah. a crazy ass. Oh, we've all done that. You did what? Nah, nah but listen. I don't deal with nobody if, got no crazy boyfriend. If, if you, hold on. Is it, so would you be in a relationship with somebody? Would you be in a relationship with somebody? Oh, we got another call. 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 This is lovely. Hold on, y'all. Lounge boys, you on the air. Hello? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Who is this? This is Melissa. What's going on, guys? Hey, Melissa, how are hey, you? Melissa? Hello. Good, good. Hey, uh, Melissa, real quick, uh, for those who don't know who uh, Melissa is, well, Melissa, tell them who you are, Melissa. Who <laughs> uh -oh. am I? Like, really? You, okay. you tell everybody who I am. Okay, Melissa's a good friend of ours, but I don't know she Melissa. is a manager at a place that starts with Fogo. Can you please tell us? The pronunciation. Pronunciation. That's how we know he don't That's know how we know he don't know what to say. Of the name of Fogo, please. Okay, so everybody pronounces. I hope you guys can hear me. Can you hear me okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. We hear you real good. Okay. Everybody always pronounces it Fogo de Chow. They always say Fogo de Chow. It's not Chow. Like, it's not C H O W, although that's. It's spelled T H A O. Mm -hmm. It is pronounced Fogo de Shon. Shon. So oh, hold up, no, no. You said so, Shun, not Shon. 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 Like Shon. So let, me, let, let me ask you this. So in your head, like you Shon. Think like S H O W N. Like like right. Shon. Like Shon. Okay. But so Gam just texted you and told you to call. <laughs> he needed somebody to help. Wow, him. I sure did. He knew. <laughs> <laughs> He thanks for calling. We appreciate hey, that. Hey, but listen, thanks for calling, but listen, I hit you up a little bit. Wow. We'll be back on the show. Thank he, you, darling. He hey, gonna, he gonna call you later so he can pay you. <laughs> and that <laughs> was a permanent press. We we know, know we know we know the name of it. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna put it in Google Translate and let Google Translate <laughs> say the name. Dang, of it. that was she said, she said chum. <clears throat> but listen chum. though, real so seriously, like a lot of like you ever been in a relationship with a girl that like you had to actually look over your back walking in her house. Because she was fucking with a crazy dude. Oh, yeah. You ain't know oh, when. Yeah. You ain't know when he was gonna come out. Hell, yeah. You ever been laying in there and this nigga been at the door? Banging oh. on the door, talking about yeah, getting in and all this other crap. I have. Ain't that some shit? Yeah, but I was young. If you doing that at this age, you got problems. You can be retarded nah, if you doing he, that. He, at this age. he got problems. <laughs> but can you deal he, with he it though? That's the question. If, and if he knock on the door at the wrong time with the wrong nigga, you really gonna have some problems. Them hot rocks are coming to the door. Can, can you deal with it though? Nah. So, I, I can't deal with no shit like that. Deal with that. I don't. Don't nobody want no woman that got. But what if she's bad? Ass. So you know I me. Mean? Bad chicks. She don't even like what the if... Kardashians, and she bad. Oh. She ain't got no baggage. Shit. Which Kardashian no are we baggage. talking about? Kim ain't, ain't got, got no baggage. Big baggage. She has a whole sex tape. All right. Hey. Fuck bad. You got a sex tape somewhere. It just ain't came out yet. No, but listen. This is what I'm trying to tell she you. Got, he didn't say he didn't have no sex no, tape. No, she got miles on record. Listen. She got miles on record. Listen, if no. you're if that you your, know about if your wife was has a sex tape that was all over the world, mm. this your wife. 
Yeah. That ain't baggage. Everybody know what your wife. All right, hold on, hold on. Everything looks like hold they know how she do way. it. Put it how this she... way. Hold on. Let me break down layman term for him. Yeah, so <laughs> you do IT work. Yeah, I do. So you decided to marry somebody in the HR department of your job, right? Oh, boy. But she got a sex tape with the nigga that worked four cubicles down from you. <laughs> no, I can't fuck with her. <laughs> No, nah. that, that's 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 the baggage. That nah. Ray J, but Kim, I like and, you. And, and Kanye, they in the same damn field <laughs> of line of work. Them <laughs> niggas are cubicles away from each other. They might not be on Reggie the same Bush. floor, but Reggie Bush, yeah, she, she got baggage, man. And man, they running miles through that. So you don't ass, care man. then? I Basically, I care. It all depends. I can't it, it depends I, like on I, who it is. It depends on who it is, and I fuck how with it I fuck with Oprah. And then if niggas was running trains on over in my neighborhood, <laughs> nigga, I still marry Oprah. Uh, <laughs> we have hey, digressed. Like, like, nigga, All right. Fuck, I, nigga, I, fuck y'all, nigga. Y'all just mad because y'all ain't marrying. <laughs> y'all niggas ain't do double oh bustle. I've been, say, I've been telling y'all money changes oh a motherfucker's perspective. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that money that. change. This here, oh. it changed your whole perspective because I'm about to get some of it. Speaking, speaking of money. Couple of, uh, let's touch on a couple of things that happened this past week, but we start with the whole LeBron. Uh, we put up a post. LeBron was coming out of the tunnel. Oh, oh no, man. he was coming to the game and he had oh, on man. a suit, Jay, Jay which was a short picture. set. Jay, you got that picture? And then he had a forty-one thousand dollar pocketbook purse purse in his hand. <laughs> I in think a po- in a pocketbook. Now we went back and forth about it on Facebook, and a lot of mostly women were the ones saying that. They didn't see nothing wrong with it. Oh, because you know, they like it, purses. Okay. But my problem, like I put on there, my problem with it was kids idolize LeBron James. Yep. They want to buy his shoes because they see his shoes and they see him playing and they want to buy his shoes. I so be now like if, if your son sees him at the press conference with his little his bag, his little purse, and the way he got up and walked off at the press conference, we ain't gonna talk about that. And walk, walk <laughs> hey, out the press we, conference we, like a bad we, bitch. Show that that walk out there like a bad bitch with an attitude. Off like a bad bitch with an attitude. <laughs> and a motherfucking attitude. But I see it as you say your child looks at that, and then they see, they be like, damn, I want that purse LeBron got. You know what I'm saying? Because kids like to get things that everybody has. Them little, them little arm things they start to wear, yeah. all them kids got them. The spandex, the spandex that they wear? Under, One thing. Everybody wear. If, if, if my son asks for... Look, he going to get his ass beat for a couple of reasons. <laughs> <laughs> for the first reason, you want a $41,000 bag. What? <laughs> all right. That's number one. That's, that's ass whipping number one. Pow! Number mm. two, why... You, you really come to me ask me for a purse? I think if, if you want a purse, you need to go ask your mother for that. So you think your father is, is purse material. Like, <laughs> yeah, be your ass for that. Daddy, I want a purse. Yeah. Here you we go. Come, you don't come to me with that. There he is. And, and, and thirdly, thirdly, uh-huh. there you go. Look at that thing. Look at that. Man. Look, somebody said when a woman's fed up, look, look how they walk out. <laughs> it ain't you know, nothing you can do about man. it. This shit crazy, man. It yeah. is. But hold up. Game, I got to jump in here one time, though. Yeah. You said you only saw women going on that. No, I said I saw women. The they only were people defending. I saw defending. Defending, it. defending yeah. it was women. I got men. I know men who are defending this shit, oh, who are telling that. me that this is a part of fucking fashion. No, it's not. Uh-uh. That shit is gay. <laughs> and it ain't even well, a lot so of much. people say they want him to. It's him being uh, different, you know, like uh, I guess out out the box or something. What? Out the box, out I the closet. Saying, Carrying a person yeah. out the box. That's what people out, saying, of, out of all the closets, out of everybody closet. He jumped out the locker room closet where his <laughs> uniform be hanging at and shit. Hey, but I mean to keep it to keep it real, I think a lot of these uh, professional athletes are a little, you know. Light in the heels, man. Yeah, it's and a lot light. of them have stylists it, too. It take, it, you can it, tell that man, motherfucker, I don't want to wear this shit though, game. I'm not wearing True. that. No, you can. Like yeah. you ain't, you ain't taking, you ain't, and nigga, unless you locked up, you ain't taking no shower with a whole group of dudes and just feel comfortable enough just to have conversations about how many three pointers you ain't hit and all that, and you all just, or how many yards you ain't get running, and and all y'all sitting around naked. Fresh out this man, are you crazy? Well, that ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't true. That doesn't that doesn't man, what ain't true. please. That doesn't just it's, it's, that so it's something a little shaky about you, man. So it, you it, saying 
He I, said, I'm like, look, dude, talk to me after we, you know, you get dressed or something. <laughs> yeah, me, me, and hey, you don't do that. <laughs> hey, I don't want to oh, talk to man. you while we ain't taking no goddamn shower. Well, Nigga hey. Lavered, soaped and lavered up, having a conversation <laughs> about, about yards and shit. Man, uh, you crazy. Stop, uh, no more, no hey, more look, lotion. No shout more. out, shout out to uh, J.R. Smith, man. He is mean shit. man this past week, man. He. Like it's I I listen I don't blame the man everybody else is blaming I don't blame the man because LeBron should have been on the blocks anyway No it isn't even that he brought the ball out like it's like somebody said when you play twenty one you got to take the ball back out right Man <laughs> he ain't playing twenty one he thought he was playing thirty three Don't worry I got about the ball. It. he he gonna be playing twenty one next 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 year <laughs> twenty one trying to get Wearing picked 21 up pick up <laughs> but watch come tomorrow he gonna make up for it that boy gonna drop he, he definitely he man. definitely gonna have to make up for it tomorrow but at the end of the day Joe he 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 took a brain fart he just yeah it happens that's it basic, happens that's basically it happens a lot of y'all do it at work so a lot of y'all do it walking down the street and you you accidentally drop a hash brown in there or something you know <laughs> it happens man yeah. okay hold up let's 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 jump jump from that one to the next one right mm-hmm. yeah. Roseanne Roseanne Barr and her Shh. racist tweets mm. 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 they canceled look her. at her though they canceled her shit. Quick! She, I used to like her, man. She looked like she lived in a trailer park no, somewhere listen. deep down in Texas. Bro, I used to like her. No, but what y'all forget is Roseanne been making racist comments. Yeah, hey, forever. You know how many years ago she did that? She dressed up like Hitler and did the thing where she it was like an oven and cooking. You know how they because the, yeah, when you get to the Jew, yeah, yeah. she been doing racist stuff. So I don't know where the shot. I wasn't shocked. I was just shocked ABC cut her off so fast. Uh, oh, oh, man. They hit her quick. Yeah, that was quick. That was just a shock. Hey, yeah, nah, that was fast. Listen, that look man. at this. Okay, so here's one of her tweets. Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby. That's what she's saying the VJ. lady looked like. That's what she like. said about the lady. Yeah. That's what she said about the lady. That's the tweet right there that got her Good God Almighty. So what, so the question is, I forgot the excuse she used. Ambient. She was on Ambient. <laughs> she said she was on Ambient. Hey, but look, the president from Ambient came back like, man, our medication make you do a lot of things, but don't make <laughs> yeah. you be racist. Yeah, they, 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 they ain't going to tell you, they ain't going to turn you racist. He said, yeah. you hey. might, he said you might break out in hives, you might break out in sweats. You might even be a little dizzy and retarded, but you're not going to be no racist. Niggas. You ain't going exactly. to break out and say, nigga, 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 nigga. Exactly. That shit don't make no sense. Let's jump to let's jump to this last one real quick. Shoot it. We're talking about the Drake and Pusha T. Yeah, push it. Yeah, push it. All right, we'll push it on this one. Listen here. Do y'all think it got, hey. do you think Pusha T went overboard? No. Nope. Drake started. It's all, it. it's all fair game. That's, Drake, that's Drake what started. Cuban said. Well, Cuban said, man, look, he was wrong for talking about you know the man, family, awesome. and kids, and all that. Like you, it's it's certain you know certain lines you don't cross. Don't drink, but man. I he he started. So he said his fiance I mean, in his first diss. And, you know. Yeah, true. And it's all fair game. That's and what it. people don't forgot is that Pusha made the first song. The infrared on his CD, that's what Drake responded to. But that ain't even the first song. That ain't the first Pusha song. He's been no, no, going. No, no. He's been no, no. going on them niggas for no, a long time. No, I'm saying, though, but I'm talking about in this instance of what happened, Drake responded to the infrared. Right. Mm-hmm. And then he did say something about his fiance. so I think that's why... That's why he went. Pusha came all out and... We ain't heard nothing from Aubrey. Oh, no, nah, he had a press conference, didn't he? Yeah. yeah he had yeah. a press release. What, <laughs> what part is. of hip-hop is this? Nah, <laughs> but but listen, the crazy thing, though, like, don't get Drake twisted, man, because Drake, Drake is nice at doing that listen. that particular thing. Listen. But, he, he, but, he, 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 right now, he getting chewed up. Hey, hey, look. Push a good with it, too. We waited four days, nigga. He waited a week. Lie. It ain't it's been four a, days yet, it's, though. It's been a week. It ain't been, nah, it's only been like three days, two days. Shit. Nah, Push put his joint out Monday. It's Saturday. Did he? It's Saturday. Oh, yeah, Hell yeah. Four days. Damn. It's, he's a rap. He ain't even. He... Won't somebody say something about Kendrick, man? That's what I want here. Oh, they I definitely ain't going to say nothing about Kendrick. They well, Kendrick <laughs> dog somebody. Well, look, we about to take a quick commercial break. We're going to come back with our special guest, my man Cedric Armstrong. He got mm-hmm. a good book. Yep. Yep. The Y'all title mean, of the book. And we're gonna teach Pound how to count when we come back, cause they did say on 23s, but we'll be back Ooh, in one second. Y'all. See you in a minute. <laughs> boom, 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 boom.
back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yep. So we are here, Chanel Gordon. We're still looking for you too. So you know, make sure you hit us up so we can get you that free dinner. Uh, what we about to do now? Our special guest is here, Cedric Armstrong. He's the uh, author of Full Time yeah. Struggle, The Path of a Felon, and uh, we got my man Ty. Ty's over there, and now throw it to you guys. Catch it. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you for that toss, brothers. All right, no ladies problem. and gentlemen, I'm here right now with my buddy and new friend, Cedric Armstrong. Welcome to the Lounge Boys show, my friend. Thank you, man. Thank yes, you, Yes, sir. No problem. No problem at all. You know, so uh, you came on the show today to talk to us a little, a little bit about your new book here, Full-Time Struggle, The Path of, the, of a Felon. Powerful title, man. Yeah, that is a very powerful title. And that's you on the cover, too, huh, as, as a young buck. That was before the felons. Oh, okay. Hey, can you turn this mic up for me a little bit? Turn my microphone up. Yeah, turn my mic up. <laughs> turn my headphones and say something for me, Cedric. Yeah, I, 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 we, good. we good right there. All right, so, um, so Cedric, I got a couple. Cedric, I have a few questions here that uh, we put together. And we just wanted to uh, get your input on them, okay? Sure. So uh, let's, let's start off with number one. Uh, well, what was the, f shoot, I don't want to talk, what was the first thing that you did when you were released from Well, I hate to, I hate to, I hate to, I hate to butt in real quick. Come on. Can you just, can, can you just real quick, because I haven't read the book, to be honest with you, um, so can you just break that down real quick first, what the book is about, and then we'll shoot to the questions, because I haven't read it yet, my sure, bad. Sure, sure. Uh -huh. All right. Um, basically, it's a, it's a fictional story based off of my life, and uh, how I just continue the same cycle of repeating of going to prison, coming out, starting over, going to prison, coming back out, starting over. And uh, I just knew that it was time for a change, for me to figure out something else because what I was doing was not working. Yeah, mm -hmm. I understand that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this is just the, what got me, what began my journey to the point I'm at now. Okay. Got you, got you. All right, so um, what was the first thing that you did when you were released? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I think I know that answer. <laughs> what, what every brother's doing, man. Oh man. Uh, well, yeah. Besides that, mm -hmm. uh, I just I just came up with a course of action. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, I think when uh, people are coming out of jail, you have to have a plan of action on what you're going to do and what steps you're going to do. So you don't end up in the same situation. Right. So uh, that's that was my first thought, was I had to figure out a way that I wasn't going to have to figure out how to get out of jail again. Right. Right. Okay. All right. That's, that's a good answer. Now, how has prison changed your view of society compared to then versus now? So. It's funny because uh, I, did a, I did a book signing last week, and uh, that was something I talked about. And I th talked about how you have to try to make, in, the, in all the chaos that was going on in my life, I was always trying to figure out how to make society fit my life. Right. In all actuality, I had to figure out a way to fit in society. Right. So I had a totally different look of what society was mm -hmm. from before to when I got out. Okay, now, I understand that coming home from jail, you know, is hard for ex-felons yes. to get housing to get jobs to get all of that kind of stuff so is that part of the reason that made you want to jump and write your book so that you can be your own business start your own financial you know instead of trying instead of trying to work for somebody else you want to build your own i think that's key in the black community man that we need to be more bosses out here i agree uh i, I did it i did it because I wanted to get off, get it off my shoulders. Ah. You know what I mean. So that way, I kind of start off fresh, I start off clean. Like my story's already told. I don't got nothing to prove to nobody. I don't got nothing that I need to say more. Right. You know, it's my actions that's going to show. <clears throat> I like that. I like that. All right. Let so me, I Ty, hold Shoot, on, Ty. What's up? Let me let, let me get one in. Come on, brother. Now I was wondering. First of all, how many years you do? Uh, collectively thirteen and a half. Good. Good. Uh, I did uh. I started off. I started off. I did like 13 months. Got out. I was home for 11 months. Went back in. Did three and a half years. Was home for two years. Made two kids. Then I went away for seven and a half years. Damn. Uh, <laughs> man. I got Irish twins, so I had to work fast, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you don't never know what that next day promised to you in that type of life, man. So. Yeah, I understand. 
I understand that one, brother, 100%. So this is a weird question for me, um, but I'm going to ask it because this is what my management wants me to wants to ask. Uh, what good can come from having been in jail? Now, I want to go back to that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. That, that's one thing that can you know, change if, you. If, like I said, man, I was a repeat offender. Right. And, uh, you know, I'm from an era back when, like, it kind of meant something to go to jail because, you know, you had your people that would look out for you, look out for your, mo- your mom and all that type of stuff. That mm-hmm. type of stuff did. Oh, you know, yeah. So, mm-hmm. You know, so it's like, uh, to me, man, I just... I, I just knew I couldn't. I was doing seven years, man. I was just like, damn, man. My, my daughter was 10, 10 months old when I went in. I uh-huh. had a daughter that was two months old. Yeah. Like she, her eyes couldn't even focus, man. I know that hurt. Mm. You know, and so I was just like, man, I, 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 I can't live like this. Right. So I got to make a change, man. I understand that. I understand that. Um, was it hard for you to get back into society? Well, no. No, man. <laughs> I, it's, the, it's all about the plan. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can, we all going to hit roads. We all going to hit roadblocks, and things are going to come up, man. Right. But if you focus on if you focus on what you need to focus on, man, you ain't gonna do nothing but climb that obstacle. You know, go around it. Right. If you want it, if you want it bad enough, man, I want to be out here in society with my family and my friends. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, it wasn't no. Well, no. no. I got you. I got quick, you. I got a quick question, Ty. Come on, buddy. All right. So the book. Um, it's called, you know, it's, it's it's the struggle, you know, the path, you know. The, the book explained the path of what you did to get to that position or the path of once you were in that position as a felon. Because I want to know, was there a certain path that got you to going on that side of life? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hit on that all that in the book. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, man. I, I do my best, best to be transparent. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if I'm going to put my something out here like this, I have to be prepared to answer those questions. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like uh, you can read the book, and then people be like, man, I can see what you were going through. Mm-hmm. And then they say, I can see why you're doing what you're doing now. Mm-hmm. I, it's, I mean, I, I'm, just telling, I'm just telling my story. Right, right. Gotcha. Gotcha. But okay. real, 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 um, real quick, come on, man. If the law hadn't caught up with you, where would you think you would be right now? That's and do you think question. that you being locked up really changed your, you know, what I'm saying your whole lifestyle? Well, I did get caught, uh, and it did change my life. I can't really speak and say. What I yeah, will be what, doing, what if, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I mean, you wake up one day, be like, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. I'm gonna go ahead. You right, ain't got nobody yeah, knocking. Yeah. You ain't got nobody mm-hmm. kicking your door in and all that shit. So, you know, for me to answer that kind of question, I just that's kind of I, yeah, I can only go down the path. I've it's been. all spe- no, yeah, definitely, it's definitely, speculation. Definitely. Now, what could have? The reason I could because we know a lot of people that's been in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, and I know you gotta get tired of that crap. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I did. <laughs> that, that, that's what he's saying. He got tired of that shit. Right. That shit got old real quick. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, like, my last question here I got is: uh, with having being an at, with having with have been an been. athletic, <laughs> do you believe had you more support in that interest of your life that you would have turned to the street? You get the question. Yeah, you say what I'm Did y'all get the question? You know this shit. I was, I was, I was, I was with him halfway through. Ben, ben, all right. <laughs> like being, in, being, being an athlete, being in the, you know, being in the athletic stuff, uh-huh. if you had more support and, and being an athlete and people more supporting you more being an athlete, do you think you would have went that route, stayed that route, or you would have still went, eventually went to the streets? It wouldn't have mattered is what they'd be trying to figure out. Uh, I think if I had... A, a real strong support uh, in my, you know, in my corner at that time. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, it's I grew up without no father. You know what I mean. So mm-hmm. if I had a father that was there telling me like, "Hey, look, you can't do this right here. This ain't gonna work." I'm telling you. Right. So you know that's why I try to be as strong as I can in my son' life because in both of them because I don't already did all the silliness for you, dog. You ain't mm-hmm. gotta keep going through it. Right. Yeah. You know so. If I had had that support system and, you know, some my father smacking me upside my head and telling me, man, yeah, things probably would have been different. Yeah, and we gonna, but we ain't had to bring you back on for that, that show, too, because uh, we're going to have another show where we're going to be talking about single mothers. 
and how strongest uh, some of the strongest people in the world, man. They mm-hmm. are some of the strongest people in the world. But uh, we was reading an article earlier where we where it was discussing how some of our boy men, young men, are not getting the guidance that you saying, like you just said from your father Absolutely. that they yes. need, and they yeah. turning out to be just loose cannons right. instead of having that ground being grounded. You know right. what I mean? Right. So um. I, I'm, I really need to read this book myself. I'm gonna make sure I get me a copy of it the day before you oh, leave too. Also, uh, I brought a book for the Lounge Boys for the show. Oh yeah, my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm giving y'all the book. Man. I'm, uh, my I'm, man. I'm gonna personalize it for you and everything, man. Yeah, I'll make sure you sign mine. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I, need that. I got, I got questions. Good, good. Oh, you want, you got something? Good. Um, so with the with the book, like, what do you want? What do you want people to get out of reading this book? Like, if 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 mm-hmm. uh. If this was something that I'd give to, say, a uh, 16-year-old or 17-year-old, like, what would you want them to get out of this book? I already did this shit, man. <laughs> if you're on the fence right now trying to figure out what you want to do, I can already mm-hmm. tell you what's on the other side of that fence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you might as well. I mean, let's, let's think about it, man. I did 13, year, 13 years in prison thinking I was going to be in the, on the streets and just continue to do what I was doing. Only to come back home to get a job. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I wasted time. Yeah. Right. You could have just, just got started a job. working out of high school and <laughs> exactly. I would have had way more than I got you've now. Been, you'd have okay. been 13 years in your job. Yeah. 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 That's a long time. and everything. Four right. week vacation, everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I wasted all that time thinking I was going to finally figure out how I could be in the street and not continue to get locked up. Wow. Yeah. 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 And it's, 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 it's crazy because I think about, I was thinking about it when we were talking about this show and like with a lot of people that I know, like when we were younger, like I think everybody, I mean, I'm not completely sure I can speak for a couple of people. I ain't going to say no name, <laughs> but like everybody here has been arrested before. Like ain't done no major time, you know. Drop a clue for gas snitching. Well, this is, no, <laughs> bullshit. Listen, we don't need you telling no, everybody we've been this locked is, up. This is before the age of 18. You know what I'm saying? We all dabbled, did our little thing. And, um, like, there wasn't, the percussions weren't as harsh as what you faced. You know right, what I'm saying? It was some little bit of time here and there. But it never really kicked in to stop doing it because you got these little smack on the hands. Right. So, like, after your... You said the yeah, second yeah. time is three years? Three years, eight months, yeah. No okay. Three and a half. Well, so, I mean, I'm guessing your mind state didn't change, but did, did you have any, like, any change even a little bit after that three years thing? Because that, that was your first big one, right? Yeah. 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 Was there anything that changes a little bit, or you were just still on it? I knew I was going back to the streets. Uh, I can sit here and try and tell you, yeah, we know a little bit of really big, no. Yeah. I knew I was going back to the streets. Yeah. I mean, uh, maybe I had phone calls with my family members. Like, yeah, I'm really using this time to, you know, uh, mm-hmm. figure out what I want to do with my life. I knew <laughs> I was I'm going, going back, back to the street. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm going to tell you that I'm trying to figure it out, but I'm trying to figure another way that I can get some money out of this fucking right. game. That's what I'm exactly. thinking about. And then being incarcerated, you always make a lot of connects with felons, other felons, and when you come home and sometimes you can really network and, yeah. and be on a different plateau than you and be, were before you And be a bigger felon. And be a bigger yeah. felon, you know what I'm saying? It's a conspiracy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand that. They start the them whole, off with 10, 15, don't they? they sweep, the, yeah. sweep the whole East Coast, anybody on your phone. Five and up. That's a deal. So, um, were you fair or D.C.? Well, I did federal time, but my cases all came from uh, Montgomery County. Okay, all right. So I got yeah, go. well, they don't so play he, fair in Montgomery he, County. He, his cases came back with uh, Seven Locks was uh, the spot yeah. to go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's where he started at, yeah. Seven Locks. That, okay. was my, that was my rookie season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you graduate to somebody like uh, Clarksburg, Upper, Upper Marlboro, Angus Town. Like right. yeah. 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 But now I got, I got, I got, I got a question. What, what made you write a book? With all the technology and stuff that's going on oh, now, man, that's a great question, man. You know, I mean, because a lot, because it seems like a lot of people don't read like actual books. Books, books. you know, what I'm digitally. So that's that's why when you, when I uh, when I talked to you, I was like, okay, he read a book. He wrote a book. Oh, okay. Right. But a lot of people just go strictly with the, the, the new technology now. Mm-hmm. So that's right. why I was wondering. It's pretty. It, I'm proud of you, definitely. That, Thank but you, man, I appreciate it. But um, what, what what made you do that though? It actually occurred, man, when I was uh during the three years, eight months, where it was where the light was actually... Your first bit? The second one. Second. Oh, the second. Okay. So uh, 
I had a I had a counselor that was you know real real cool dude man, and uh, when I was in high school, so um, I'm I'm sitting in, I'm sitting in prison doing my three years eight months, I'm playing basketball, getting in shape, thinking about the street. They called me on the loudspeaker for for uh, for a visit. I'm like, oh, I ain't even a damn visit. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. I'm from an, I'm from another area. I know when my people's coming up here. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting in the shower, like, man, I hope this ain't another damn charge. You know, that's my mindset going into mm -hmm. it, right? So I go and ask my counselor, man, from my high school. I hadn't seen him in probably six, seven years. He came in real smooth, sat down. He said, uh, what's going on, Cedric? I said, Nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. This time. I mean, you yeah. fucking up my rec time, but you know what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm balling, dog. Yeah, damn, I got, you know. And he was like, man, uh, you ever thought about writing a book? And I'm like, a, a book about what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was like, about your life. And I'm like, come on, man. I'm thinking about getting back to the street, trying to get some mm -hmm. get back right. or what I'd have missed. You talking about a book? I said, man, who gonna wanna read my book, man? Who gonna wanna read something I wrote? He said, Cedric, it's millions and millions of people in the world. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You don't need a millions and millions of people to buy your book. You only need a hundred thousand. Pretty much. Four dollars. And, 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 and I was like, but who would wanna read it? He said, people want to know what your psyche is and why you think you can stand on the corner and pedal rocks all day and right. drink and smoke and act like, you know, hey, shit, I'm supposed to. That's what we do, mm. and that's when he—that's when it struck, man. And I went home. And I went, went, went back to my cell. <laughs> <laughs> went back went to home. my cell with my, you know. <laughs> they call that home in the city. We locked up in my house. <laughs> <laughs> and I started a timeline. I sat, put some paper down, and I started a timeline, man. I just started thinking about my life, and it was crazy because after I got back out and you know, I started going back to the streets. Uh, shout out to my sister Erica, man, because. She held that timeline for me. Mm -hmm. Even that when I got back and got back out on the street and started running around, and she ended up sending it back to me when I did the seven years. Wow! Wow! And, and, uh, and she's and, and and I just continued, man. And it just, you know, I, I I would stay on myself six seven hours and just write and reminisce and you know and think about. Damn, I used to do this type of shit. All right, okay. Man, that, it's crazy. Yeah. I wrote I wrote some shit when I was doing weekends in DC jail. <laughs> this, uh, I, I, Sound like child support. This, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was doing weekends for uh, assaulting the police officer, or whatever. And um, the basic when I came back the next week, had my paper that I had wrote. It was like, here you go, dog. That's a good letter. <laughs> God damn. Damn. Wow. God damn. <laughs> hey, all right, so uh, let's bring it back. I got another question for you. It's a yes. real serious one, okay? Yes, sir. So you have boys and girls? Yes, two boys, two girls. All right, so how firm are you on your sons? Now, I mean, are you more, you feel like you're more strict than a normal parent being on your son to not get indulged into the game because it's so easy for him to get into it? Absolutely. And um, the second part is a two-part question. The second part is, do... I'm sure you encourage your daughter and you see it if she brings somebody home to say, that's not the type of dude you want to be involved with because he kind of, he like I was back in the day. Or right, right. Um, when it comes to my sons, um, I got blessed, man, because uh, I have a 23-year-old son. Okay. And um, he got a lot of the street dad. So I wasn't there a lot, but I find that stuff, you know. So he wanted a bike, I could get him a bike. But sometimes I didn't stay there long enough to help him learn how to ride the bike. Right. So uh, now, I, 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 and he, uh, through all the times I went to jail and everything, man, he never, he, he never got locked up, never yeah. got arrested. You know, he, uh, he, he held it together. And I think because he saw all the stuff that I went through, and then my younger brother would talk to him about, man, you know, such doing a lot of time, like this is something that you don't need to do. So he never went down that path, man. And, and that's just by a blessing of God, I think, that he never went down that path. That's a good thing. Oh, my five-year-old, I'm on his neck all day long. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because, you know, I, I, I just, like I said, with me not having a father, you know, I give him everything that I didn't get. Right. So that's what, but with my daughters, they'll look at a dude and be like, you ain't going to see my father. 
Daddy gonna smack so, the shit yeah. out. So, no, nah, ain't no reason. Ain't no reason for you to walk me home. Cause you're never gonna come back. Like, what's the use of you even? No. But they're smart, man. And uh, that's good. Like they've seen everything that I've been through. Like I, I'm a I'm a living testament to my whole family, of going in and out of jail. So a lot mm-hmm. of them look at it and be like, man, we don't want that Cedric syndrome. Yeah, huh. right. That's so, what they call it. That's what the fuck it was. <laughs> <laughs> I was sick as a motherfucker. Hey. <laughs> Stop this. Shit. Hey, Todd. Shoot, bro. Hey, I got it. Um. I want to, uh, real quick, real quick. Mm-hmm. Prison reform. Now, everybody talking about Meek Mill, then he trying, trying to get the Kardashians to do the. Let me ask you, let me ask you this about prison reform. What? Give you advice on that. Pr- prison reform. What you think, you know? I think it's all based on the person, man. You can give anybody, you can give people that, all the avenues they, that's out there. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 to the, it's on them. Uh, you know what okay. I mean? They got to want it. Yeah, that's that's the only way you're gonna make it, man. I can. But do I they have pay. any? I mean, do, do they have. I mean, they have. They have programs. Yeah. They have. You know. I mean, I was a I was a sous chef for almost three and a half years, mm-hmm. and I learned you know the love of cooking from being in jail. Mm. Oh. You know what I mean? So it's like it, you gotta take something from it. And you gotta want it. If you don't, man, you can have all the programs in the world. You ain't gonna take advantage mm-hmm. of it. Right. That's good, man. Yeah. Uh, we need you yeah. to go talk to uh, Trump. We got, we got. <laughs> so oh, let me. Trump let me, must run lock my ass. Let me close. Let me no close presidential out. Pardon for your ass. <laughs> let me let me close. Out. I guess this be like our last little uh, question or thought or whatever. But um, back to to what you were saying when you was like, um, who going who gonna want to read my book and you know what what your thoughts was when when you know asked to write a book. So my. Uh, my grandmother, my grandmother had locally the the news. One of these newspaper people came in from Washington Post. Forgot his name, some dash or whatever his name is. Whatever. So he came and interviewed her for like two weeks straight. It was in the Washington Post, front page of the Washington Post. So I interviewed her for two weeks straight, and she she had the same mind for me. Like, don't nobody want to know about my life, you know what? Right, you know. Right. So he, he did all that. He won a postal award for all that and all that. Um, then he, he turned around and wrote a book about her. So, so all right, so take he wrote the book about her. Fast forward years later, after the book came out, I was talking to one of my friends that uh that went to school at Grambling, and she was telling me about this uh one of the African American study classes that she had. And it's like, you know, we're reading this book about this lady from D.C. in my class. from, And I guess it's part of, part of all the HBCUs that they have to actually go in African-American studies and, and get a book that relates to, to, you know, the life or the culture or whatever they, they, they're talking about at that time. Right. So it, happened, it just happened to be my grandmother's book, the book that they were reading down in Grambling. Wow. So, I mean, don't, you can have, never underestimate a, of what, your word can do because it, it can get out true, there man, and it, it can be powerful to somebody. Somebody can learn something from it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and I hope I hope the same thing happened with you. Like it, it I, I hope yours reach to that point and beyond. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right. Cause it's a good thing, man. Thank you. Good thing. It. Hey, say give um give our uh, our viewers you know where, where to find your book and you know go ahead and plug your plug your information. Get my plug in. Okay, yeah, put, put your, your plug, plug in. Plug, in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> plug it all. <laughs> You can Where find, they can find me on, uh, on Facebook at Cedric L. Armstrong. I also have a Facebook page, Full Time Struggle. Uh, any information, any links are all on either one of those pages. Uh, I just, man, I just, like I said, man, I've been blessed. I sent three, I sent three books off to Hawaii the other day. So you know, it's people, man, California, mm-hmm. uh, New Hampshire, Cleveland, mm-hmm. Florida, Texas. You know, I'm getting a lot of love. So anybody that you want to purchase a book, or I'm also on Amazon KDP, which you can get ebook. Nice. So you know, I got that yeah, for you people sweet. that don't want to buy the actual book. There you go. Oh, yeah, that there digital you go. copy. Absolutely. All y'all technology people. Fire, fire your Kindle up. Fire your Kindle up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. I, um, I'm gonna want to personally thank you for coming on the show. Hey man, yeah. thanks for having me, man. We definitely, definitely appreciate man. you coming on, brother. Right, man, no and problem, until man. next time, that's a, we'll be right back. We gotta take a quick commercial break. All right. All right. Yep. All right. You can stay with us, though. You ain't got to go nowhere.
Hey, welcome back. Boom, welcome boom, back. Boom, welcome boom, back. Boom, 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 boom. Once again, man, we want to thank uh, Cedric Armstrong, man. Came here. Y'all yep. got to go check that book out, man. And like Definitely. I said, it'll, we're, we're going to post it up in the uh, in our group page. Mm-hmm. You know, any way you need to find it, you know, you can you can hit us up. Um, hey, hey, Gam, the crazy thing is, though, that book can help people. You know, we got a lot of viewers that's abroad. Mm-hmm. And we know it's it's jails every day going away. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. all y'all to put us in there the most. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So y'all can sure. order the book too. Yeah, yeah. jail counselors, <laughs> all y'all yeah. y'all want to get juvenile. To the, yeah, juvenile all counselors, that, y'all get get the book. Get man. this book exactly, man. So, so they can learn from somebody that been through it, and not somebody that's yeah. that's you know yeah, that done went through college. And coming there to preach to somebody that ain't never did anything. <laughs> Nothing. Get the book and, and let let them read the book or read from the book to them so they can they can go through it with somebody that's definitely. actually been through it. And that's one of, and that's one of the worst things in the world. To for them and I, I have seen it because I have been through the counseling stages mm-hmm. where they put you in the room with somebody who freshly graduated college mm-hmm. that just got a degree. <laughs> they exactly. never been locked up. They never been in trouble with the police. Yep. They barely argue with their mother and father. Yep. And mm-hmm. then they want to sit in there and tell you, hey, oh, your so life. you were wrong. You <laughs> shouldn't have did that. But they don't, know the, they don't know the situation or your circumstances why you do some of this stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. So definitely. The book is for, you know, get it from get it from the horse's mouth. Yeah, and uh, yeah. um, another thing is we we inspiring reading. Another thing I want to shout out um, yeah. my man Jay Prince. He's uh, actually in D.C. right now promoting his book. Rap um, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, definitely you know, check that out. We promote out. reading. We gotta get back to reading. Shout man. out to Jay. We a lot of people don't yeah, like lot, picking up a book. <laughs> a lot of people don't pick books up. No yeah, more, a lot man. of people don't pick up books no more, man. But we gotta start so. picking books back up, man. It's a lot of good knowledge in them books, man. Mm-hmm. What you see on the internet and the TV is some BS. So. Get these kids off these video games, man. Oh, Have them read. No That's the hardest God, thing damn. in the world to do. Exactly. Have them read. Exactly. And see, books like this will stop some of this damn school shootings and all that other bullshit. Nah, bullshit. school nah. shootings are happening by little white kids. <laughs> Them little white kids. Yeah, hey, ain't got nothing to do with. They ain't got nothing to do with our, our young black damn. youth. When you nope. see, which which school got shot up by a black dude? None. None. But well, some of the white kids need to read it then. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's what need to that's read it. Case? Yeah, that's what need to read it. Go to learn learn about the str- <laughs> learn about the real struggle. Right. Like you uh-huh. breaking up with Becky. <laughs> ain't ain't no struggle. That's that not ain't a struggle. no struggle at all. Exactly. How about trying to find something to eat for like two weeks? <laughs> right. Or where you gonna uh, sleep or, at? Or, or, or where your mom? Where your mom, cold. where your mom and your daddy at? Oh, they oh, they laid out. Uh huh. And then the crazy thing, like the, the the kids that be doing, to be standing among the ranches with nineteen acres of land and all that, and, and you you Horses what are you mad shit. at? Uh, you got the life. How are you mad? Mad at the world. It's no man, reason you crazy. for you to be mad. Wow. You are crazy. Like we That's said, wild. man, we, we thank y'all for being here. You can always check us on all our social media pages. On IG, we the Real Lounge Boys. We got the Lounge Boys page and the Lounge Boy group on mm-hmm. Facebook. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we all over the place. And uh, Timmy said we have a topic next week. So I'm going to go ahead and let you. Uh, now, next week, that. next week, I want y'all to tune in. We got a, uh, another special guest. He's a, a, let's say a DMV celebrity, uh, the former uh, backyard manager, Terrence Cooper. We're going to have him come in and talk about the state of Go-Go. And you owe me $20, And too. we're going to put... <laughs> <laughs> Coop, nah, Coop, I ain't even trying to be funny. Coop owe you 20 Coop, How many yeah, times he let you in the club? I don't care. Money is money. Hey, Coop, he can that when he let you in the club. Wow. You're going to make Coop chalk. Chalk that 20 up. Hey. No, we're going to put a question hey. up in the group. Is Go-Go dead? And I'm bringing right. my gloves too. And can, can before we, go, before go. we <laughs> go, before we go, can I give a shout out to uh, my daughter Amari Desiree Williams? Turned 18 today. Graduated Thursday. On her way to uh, Charlotte Johnson C. Smith for college. Yeah. I'm proud of you, baby. I love you. Congratulations! Oh, 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 oh. ten for ten. Nick ass no more. Hold on, she ten for ten. Ten for ten. Hey. My uh, daughter Brianna Cooper graduates on uh, Tuesday. Yeah. Right. She's oh going God. to all black success. AMDA. She's going to AMDA Performing Arts School in Manhattan, New York. Yeah, nice. 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 I don't know how because I ain't got no money. <laughs> you niggas get they old. don't take scholarships. I mean, uh, financial aid, <laughs> payment plans, all that, that. Good shit. You, uh, you guys get old. She going man, though. Super old. Ain't nobody getting old. Ty, your kids been graduated <laughs> 10 years ago. <laughs> 9 out of 10, but they been graduated, though. Oh, man. Hey, hey, we when see y'all, y'all next graduate? Week? Hey, uh, mine's graduate on Tuesday, and uh, guess what school they going to? 
We to Como you. Park Junior High. <laughs> The Whack Off Academy. Oh, we out here. Yeah, we started. Lounge boys. Lounge boys, we out. Lounge boys, we out. Peace.